Okay, C. Lindelof videos, TI Inspire Cast, and how to use it to do polynomial division with remainders. So sometimes you can get lucky, and if you have polynomial division that you're going to do, but you, you're pretty sure there's not going to be a remainder, you can do it one way. If you think there may be a remainder, you're not sure, I would do it the way I'm about to show you. So this is the little experiment that I did before I started the video. I wanted to divide this, obviously, this numerator by this denominator. So I just put it, and I hit enter, and I didn't get anything back. So I was like, okay, well, I wonder what would happen if I use the factor function. And when I did use the factor function, I got this answer back. And I was like, crap, I wonder when the factor function works. So I went to this, and I was like, okay, I know that x squared minus 9 over x minus 3 should be x plus 1. I'm sorry, it should be x plus 3, right? Because this is difference of squares up here. So I'm like, okay, this will, this will be easy division. When I did that, it actually worked, and I got this answer. However, <clears throat> when I did it on something more difficult, more complicated with the remainder, it didn't work. So I was like, hell, how do I make this always work? So what I did was this. I typed in expand, and then I put in my function. I put in my polynomial division, top divided by bottom with the word expand in front of it, hit enter, and there we have it. The one thing that this does that's a little bit weird is that it puts the remainder out front. This is the remainder right here, right? So this is the remainder. That is kind of weird that it does that. So if you were just looking for the remainder, that would be this, right? And they put it, and how would you know that? Because this is out of order, right? It's x squared, x to the first, x to the zero. So this should be out at the end, but in this case, it's, it's here. So I think this is actually really, really doable. Oh, let me show you this really quick, just some of the typing stuff, right? I, I am, I'm going to type in expand, so I'm going to spell it out, or you can go to your menu and do it. So I'm going to type in expand. The thing I wanted to show you that I want to make sure you do know how to do is that when you go in here, to make this division bar, this solidus, instead of having it at an angle, hit control, division, it will set that up for you, right? So, right, uh, x squared plus 5x plus 4 divided by x plus 1, x plus 1, and I have expand. And this one actually, okay, so this one actually worked out clean, but if it hadn't and I used the expand function, it would have given me the answer and its remainder. So I don't think this is too bad. I think this is definitely something that you can do. Remember that expand is what I would always use. I'd use expand. And remember also that to get the solidus, to get this division bar, you just hit control, division. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks. Peace.